Hey everybody, this is Herschel Prune from Fine Line Barbers and this uh, review of Do With School is brought to you by uh, Fine Line Barbers. What my boy Vinny from Fine Line Barbers has done is that he's joined uh, up together with a major barbering supply here in New Zealand and they're going to be putting on um, the Aotearoa Barber Competition in September 2017. Um, he's, going to be post he's going to be putting up a uh, Facebook page as well as an Instagram page so that from our barbers around the country can upload their work and so that we as a public can go and see them um, on those uh, networking sites. Um, they're going to be bringing the best barbers around the country, the best barber shops around the country and also the main uh, vendors and suppliers here in New Zealand and so we're going to have a big networking of, of the barbering industry all in one place. Um, this is going to show us as a public what um, how big it is around the country and uh, what talent that we have here within that within that industry and so uh keep that um in mind september 2017 the Aotearoa Barber competition brought to you by Vinny from fine line barbers uh do a school is um pretty much in the same space that um old Edo was in is that they're new to the new to the level um, the first time ever last year, last year, this year, um, they are young, um, they have a lot of talent, they have a lot of guys, uh, a lot of guys to choose from, they have a lot of size, speed, natural ability, things like that, um, but also, they will have to have the same thing as old editors, that they're going to have to have a development structure, uh, an academy kind of structure to the school so that they can bring up players from under 15, under 16, second 15, all ready to play first 15, 1A level rugby. Now that is not easy to do. That is not easy to be that consistent and to be that um, prepared for a competition that that is every Saturday going to be a a top ranked team in the country kind of game. Dilworth School is going through that now and so Dilworth School's got to figure that out and then um, you know over the last couple of years it's been great even this year I think that they had some really good players coming um, who came back to school who showed what um, they could do and it, and it actually paid off. Um, I thought they made a run. I thought they made a pretty good run throughout this year. Uh, they had some bad losses. Uh, they had some games that I thought um, could have went better. Um, they could have done a bit, uh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, and I think that they won the games that they were supposed to win, which is which is always a, a, a positive. But they didn't push any of the teams that. Um, uh, that they could have stolen games off. Um, I think the one that they only, the only one that they stole was probably the Calston one, uh, the Calston boys one. But I mean, like they have a they have a good amount of players coming back. They have some good talent that was still there. Um, Mowbray Manu, um, Jonah Mau, and also um, Issy Manu were probably another underrated loose forward trio in the country. Um, I think they all ran very well. They all had a strong uh, running game to them. They had, were all pretty good offensively. Uh, maybe a bit down on the on the defensive side. Uh, Jonah really getting out there and trying to make um, a lot of tackles. Uh, Mowbray was the same way when Mowbray went out there. And, um, you know, uh, maybe maybe a bit too wide. Maybe should have stayed a bit closer to the ruck. But um, they did their thing. You know, they they went out there and they played hard and. And made the offensive um, game theirs. Um, Issy's always going to be a big runner. And he's going to be like that next year as well. Um, I thought Molly Fiver and also Tavita Hullo were pretty good first five halfback um, combinations. Being that they're only year 11 and year 12. Um, Tavita did really well at first five. And he's going to be one of those um, game, manage, game manager kind of players. Um... Who will know situations real well and will know how to play situations real well and just has to adapt to it and molly's going to be um the same he's um i heard that molly just suffered a massive injury and may not be able to return next year but 
we'll see how that goes and you know if that's the case you know um i hope he recovers well um i hope he gets back to it and gets back to his strengths um but I think Dilworth is, is gonna yeah, it's gonna be in that position where they're gonna have to do something about next year and trying to getting and trying to get the developed players that they need for next year to either to either be fast tracked or they have to go fully young, like year eleven, year twelve young for most of the team so they can have a big blowout next year of uh, two thousand eighteen and be prepared for that year. Um, and then that year, that's the year that Tavita Hala will be at his prime. They'll be his, you know, he'll be uh, year thirteen, and then they they can actually control it from there, and um, and you know we can see what we can get. Um, they opened out a good year with a draw against Wesley. There was probably a draw that I think maybe should have been a loss, and but to deal with uh, school, I think that is a pretty good win for them, even though it does a draw. Um, Sacred Heart 23-10 is a pretty good score too, even against De La Salle 20-3, 20, uh, 20 even though they lost. Um, the, the Auckland Grammar one, I thought, should have been a game where they could have crept up and actually stole that game away. Um, Auckland Grammar did not have the strongest uh, team this year, and I think Dilworth could have went in there with that attitude of like, we need to spoil this year for these fellas. Uh, they lost um, 17-5 uh, you know I really think they should have you know they could have crept that one out um, Old Ede, uh they lost 5-3 uh, which is one that they could have stole as well um, they did the deeds on Odahu College um, but then the week after they had to face Mags uh, St. Kennedy they put up some pretty good scores and even against Kings um, I think Dilworth is going through that stage and they're going to find out in this competition that they need to start stringing weeks along. So, um, and, and this is even where they have to go through their schedule and look at their schedule and say, all right, we can win these three three games together and then we could, even if we drop the next week, we can steal this next week after that. And so in the five weeks, in a five-week span, they can be a four-in-one team. And they kind of, I think they kind of need to look at it like that and say that where can we have a run where we can get, um, we can prepare our team to be a positive team and we can look back and say this is where we, this is where we dominated and this is where we, and these are the teams that we beat and we can have another maybe two weeks as well or three weeks we can string another three along and, and maybe get some, maybe get a pretty good record out of that and maybe you know, in the world, in the the year, stronger, and with a lot more confidence and things like that. Winning, winning in the one A is not easy, and Dilworth is going to find that out. But they need to find, um, um, they need to find a way to keep winning so that they're not part of that relegation um, uh, games. They need to stay out of that those bottom two. They need to stay out of that, but they need to stay within the range. Where they can be competitive against the bigger schools, they need to be able to find um, that that formula that will work for them and the the school or, and the players that they have at their school, and also the structure that they can put in place for them. I think that they they are in a good position and they're in a good area where they can draw a lot of players from um, schools around that area, and so I don't think that they're going to have problems finding talent um, or size because that's just they're just in an area where they can do that. Um, Dilworth is going to be is, is, is going to be good I, I don't know about next year but they can they just need to stay away from that bottom two and keep working on the lower grades to start feeding into the into the first 15 and so they can keep their team up in that 1A they have they have everything that they need to do it they, they need they, everything that they need to stay there and to do it um, we'll just see if if their plans work and if it actually works out for them they have a good team. They um, they need to keep working hard and setting a high standard for themselves, and maybe um, they need to prepare both in the coaching staff as well as with the players as well. Um, look out for these for this team next year, and we'll see what happens. See how well they develop, or where they come, or they where they end up at, and um, yeah, hopefully they. They get something. They get some big time players because Isi Money is one to watch out for. Tavita Hala is another guy. 
um, and big shout out to uh, Molly Fiver. Hopefully he gets you know he gets better and he recovers well. That's my review for Dilworth School. I'll get it right, Dilworth School, um, and that's my review for them 2016. Peace.